Welcome to another Router Gods video. My name is Humphrey Chung, and in this video we're going to continue on with our basic BGP configuration. We're going to add a little bit to it, and we're going to take two loopback addresses, one for Router B, one for Router A. We're going to add them in, into the BGP network and see if we can get these networks to propagate across to the other to the other router. So we're, we've got our configuration already set up. We've got Router A router B, we've got the address 192.168.254, this is dot .1, this is dot .2, and they're both in AS65100. Alright, we're going to go to router A, conf T, get back into our BGP process, and you do that by router BGP65100. Actually, we probably want to configure the loopback interface first, so I'm going to exit out of there, interface, loopback, let's say 1, IP address 10.10.10.1 and we'll make it a slash 24. Great. Now we're going to go into router BGP 65100 and the command to inject a network into BGP is network, yeah imagine that, 10.10.10.0 and in BGP you have to be careful because you're, you actually have to type in the word mask and unlike other routing protocols in Cisco it's not going to be a wildcard mask this is going to be a straight subnet mask so we're going to do 255, 255, 255, 0 going to end out of there let's do a show IP route and you can see here we've got our connected route, which is our loopback. We've got our network that's in between router A and router B. Okay, now that we have the loopback and the network inserted into BGP, we're going to go into router B. Bring up my putty window. So we're on router B, conf T, set up the interface. So interface loopback and we'll call it 1, give it an IP address and on this one it's 172.16.10.1 let's say and give it a slash 24 subnet mask and then we're going to go into router BGP 65100 type in network 172.16.10.1 remember to type in mask and then a regular subnet mask 255.255.255.0 gonna pop that in there end out of there and now if we do a show IP route you'll see something interesting that we haven't seen before so we've got our connected routes 172.16.10 that's the loopback interface right here. We've got another connector route. You can see that by the C over here. 192.168.254.0. This is the link in between router A and router B. You can see there it's directly connected fast Ethernet 0 slash 0, which is this interface. And now we have a new route. It starts with B. And B, if we look up here in the legend, is for BGP. This is a BGP route that goes to 10.10.10.0, which is this loopback interface over here. And I'm going to that network via 192.168.254.1. So I can get to this loopback address through this interface. That sort of makes sense. I'm going through router A to get to that loopback. This 200 right here, that's administrative distance for internal BGP. So it's 200, which is which is pretty high. Just remember, if you go into EIGRP, the administrative distance for that is 90. So that means if you learn about that network through EIGRP, that will win over internal BGP. Lowest administrative distance wins. All right, so we're on router B. We could see the loopback address from router A. What do you think will happen if we go on router A? Well, we should be able to see this loopback address, and to verify that, we're going to go to router A, 
show IP route. And sure enough, we've got a B, so BGP route, 172.16.10, which is this one, via 254.2, which is this interface. And we have administrative distance, once again, of 200. So that's the show IP route. Let's see what happens if we do show IP route, put a question mark behind it, and we could do show IP route, pop a BGP behind that. BGP. And this shows me just the BGP routes. So B172.16.10.0. So that's pretty good. If we do a show IP protocols, this is another way to verify that BGP is running. So we've got routing protocol BGP 65100, and we have a neighbor address, which is pretty good, and distance and all that good stuff. All right, so this was a quick and easy video, just building up on our regular BGP installation. So two routers, we added a loopback interface on each one, added them via the network statement. Remember to type in the mask, so it's network 172.16.10.0, mask. 255.255.255.0. Once you enter that in, it's going to inject it into BGP, send it, and you'll have a routing update. You'll send it over to the other router. Then this router will be able to see that loopback address and vice versa. So that's it for this video. In the next video, we're going to take these two routers and we're going to split them apart and put them in different autonomous systems and see how that's going to work. Thanks a lot.